Welcome to Howdy How. I'm going to show you how I bought a couple cheap parts and used stuff lying around the shop to throw together a cyclone thin baffle type dust separator for little cost and not much skill. I got a low cost dust collector a few years ago, but it clogs with chips and pieces and the bag fills fast. I want to improve that. I started by getting a dust cyclone kit, about 20 bucks from Home Depot and others. The kit has two elbows, two hose fittings, and fitting hardware. I had an unused brown trash bin that looked like a good candidate for the project. Aim the collection side elbow along the side of the bin so the dust is thrown to the outside edge. The instructions show the suction elbow aimed opposite the collection elbow, but I think that will just pull dust into the fan. I aimed it to the center the way a cyclonic cone works. Drill through the elbow mounting holes and the lid so everything lines up where you want it. Temporarily fit the hose adapter to the holes and mark for the air hole. I used a rotary cutter, but lots of other tools could cut the hole as well. Now we're ready to fit the elbow and hose adapter to the lid and bolt them together. One side is done and looking good. Now let's do the other. The air will flow around the edge, the dust will fall out, and the cleaner air will go out the center. The lid is done. But if we stop here, the air can just spin around the bin and scavenge the dust back out to the collector. So we are adding a baffle to separate the fast and slow air. Measure how much clearance the elbows need, then add about an inch and get the diameter of the bin at that depth. I cut a piece of 5 mil flooring plywood and stuck a screw in it as a temporary handle. Invented by J. Phil Thien to solve this exact problem, the Thien baffle removes about one and a quarter inch off two-thirds of the disc. Thien did a lot of study to fine-tune his baffle. I just hacked out nearer two inches of the edge because I don't want to spend a lot of time or effort on this. I cut some pieces of two-by-two two to make standoffs to screw the baffle to the lid for easy handling. Positioning the baffle is key. The wide part starts under the incoming air elbow to get the fast air moving along the outside of the bin, pushing the dust outward. Screw the baffle to the standoffs and the lid assembly is ready to hook up hoses and give it a try. This is way more dust than you would get from tools, so it's a harsh test of the separator. You can see how the dust is on the outside of the hose bend going in, and a small amount is in the hose coming out.
looking at the trash bin and the bag, I think at least 95% of that dust was separated into the bin. Dust in the bag was very fine particles. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please click the thumbs up. It really helps us help others. Subscribe to see what else we may be doing.